In this video, I'm creating this look using all real technique brushes. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for hanging out. A little while ago, I got a comment on my channel from someone asking if I could do a makeup tutorial using the real technique brushes and kind of go into what I would use, what brush for, and create a makeup look. So that is exactly what I did. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hello. I am a licensed esthetician and makeup artist based out of Los Angeles, obsessed with simplifying beauty, making it really quick and easy, and sharing all that I know with you. So if you enjoy this video, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that'll keep you up to date on my latest videos. All right guys, let's get into the look. All of these brushes to me feel pretty dense, which isn't a bad thing. It just tells me that it's gonna apply more product. So I need to either have a lighter hand with it or use less product. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna take this medium shadow brush and I'm gonna take just a skin tone color and I'm just gonna reiterate where we put that concealer. Just right on top. Here's the thing with brushes, you can really use any brush for any task. <laughs> it's totally in your hands, literally. <laughs> now the thing about a crease brush is that it just, because of the shape, how it domes, it's just gonna kind of hug that socket right there. Now, could you do it with any of these brushes? Absolutely. This is just gonna be a little bit easier for you. This is one of my favorite crease colors. It's from Laura Mercier, it's called Plum Smoke. It's such a beautiful purple shade. Starting at that outer corner and then lightly blending it up. Now, I went a little crazy with the blending, which is fine, it's fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to that same brush that we had a little bit of concealer on and I'm just gonna kinda clean it up, just like that. Be gone, my friend. That is one really great thing about using different brushes with different products, is that you can always go back and blend or fix any mistakes or anything like that, and you're not like using one brush that has foundation, concealer, eyeliner, eyeshadow, everything on it. Now this little guy, this is the shading brush. So something to note is that the size is a lot smaller. This was that first brush that I just kind of like dabbed the skin tone color with. This guy, because it's quite a bit smaller, is gonna allow me to be really precise with whatever color I use next. I'm gonna go back into drugstore land. We're gonna use this L'Oreal Smoldering Plum color. Since I've never used this brush before and I haven't used this makeup product before, once again, I'm going back to my trusty hand to see how it's going to look before I put it on my face. This is great to do anytime you're trying something new. When I was working retail and there were so many brands and so many new products, we didn't really have time to play or practice before we were using it on clients. So I would always get in the habit of testing it on my hand first, just to be safe. So let's go ahead, let's pick up a little bit of this product. Ooh, this is gonna be crazy. Wow, that is some pigment. Wowzers, I was not expecting that. Woo, all right, well, this is fun. When I tested the eyeshadow, I did it with my hand like kind of like this, so then I could see what the fallout situation is gonna be. You can see that some product has fallen around it, so I know that I gotta be pretty precise, make sure that there aren't any loose particles anywhere, and pack it on as opposed to sweeping it. So I'm gonna take it, now we're just gonna tap right here towards the lash line, and I just wanna build out that kind of outer corner there. All right, I'm just gonna go back to this crease brush. There is no product on it. I'm just gonna take that edge and just soften it. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Go back to that kind of crease brush. Soften it. Because it is so pigmented, I'm gonna take this just fine eyeliner brush. You can even get this brush wet if you want. Um, that will really intensify it as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it flat across my lash line as a bit of an eyeliner. So I'm tilting my head down. I've got my elbows stabilized on this table right here. And I'm just gonna press it. And then I think I'll just wing it out a little bit. too heavy of a wing, just kind of a little lift. 
to the other side. This is when it's great to have those bent eyeliner brushes because it's a little bit more ergonomically correct. Now let's go into a little bit of mascara. That is when this bad boy is gonna come in handy. Um, this one I got is the new Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And I actually tried this a few weeks ago and it was so clumpy. So I'm really stoked about this little lash separator um, because I might just fall in love with the mascara plus this. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get into this lash separator business. Whoa, this is really weird to do it on yourself. You gotta be so careful. This is not makeup for your car. I could see using this more on a client than using it myself, but you know, it's good to try new things. Alrighty, and now let's put on a little bit of lipstick new lip liner. I just got a new one. This is my Susan Posnick Color Duo Nude Rouge, which is my favorite. It's just the perfect shade. And the color of lipstick is called Boca. Oh, so fun. Alrighty guys, that is it for me for this week. Give this video a thumbs up if you're stoked for spring and you enjoyed this makeup look. I hope you're having an awesome week. As always, more tips and tricks on Facebook and Instagram at Makeup by Shanna Marie. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.